right, so today we're talking about hammer-ons and how we can incorporate that with chords. So I'll give you an example. All right, so let's look at what I'm doing. So I'm using uh, one of the very common shapes would be this that D minor seven shape, or you know that's a relative of the F major. So this works both when you're playing either one of those chords. So I'm leaving the pinky loose so it can kind of hammer on and off. down. And so that same shape is movable to that three. So we're going to keep C. So the two is D minor. And so the three will be E minor. And so again, uh, that three and five are relative. So that uh, E minor and that G major, they're relative. So this works the same way as that four and two. So this works both well with both of those. And so another common trick will be over the six. So that's A minor. So let's put those three ideas together. You see that transition a lot when you're working solely in the minor key. Um, so let's say we're if we're treating that D minor as the center. So we're gonna borrow from that scale and we're gonna treat that A instead of a minor as a dominant seven. And so we're just gonna walk down. So we can also do a couple of hammer-ons on the traditional uh, major shape. So let's play the top half of that, starting from the D string. So we know the one, the four, and five are all major. So we can use that same shape over the four. What I like to do is actually go. Over the four and then over the five. And so we can find that one right there as well. And so that same shape as the D minor seven or the F here, or the E minor seven and the G here, we can do that right over the C. And just like we did that minor shape for the A, we can do that for D. Um, and then. So let's kind of put all those ideas together to see what we can come up with, just to spruce up the scale. Uh, so that's my C.
right, guys. So really simple ideas, uh, really simple concepts. But when we blend all these lists together, we can create really cool, fluent chords. Uh, I hope this lesson was helpful for you. Uh, please leave a comment, like, share, and I'll give you a tip again next week. Mm -hmm.